Earlier today, my beautiful girlfriend Tristan and I were watching some Cinema Sins, and I was like, wait a second, this gives me an idea for a video. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel's all about mental health, and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So on my last video that I did about the Ace family, some of you noticed that I have a little cut on my eye, and you're like, oh my God, what happened to you, Chris? First off, I appreciate your concern. Second off, if you followed me on Instagram, at The Rewired Soul, you would know exactly what happened to my eye. So go follow me on Instagram, at The Rewired Soul, all right? But anyways, yeah, so Tristan and I were watching Cinema Sense earlier. I was like, this is a great, like, great way to talk about negative bias. So I've talked about negative bias plenty of times on my channel, but I think this is a great example of you know, of the good that can come from negative bias, as well as some of the cons too, which I'll talk about later. But anyways, just to lay it all out, let's talk about what Cinema Sense is, for those of you who don't know, and then let's talk about what negative bias is, all right? So Cinema Sense is a channel here on YouTube, and basically what he does is he breaks down different movies and he goes through just like all of the mistakes in it, right? And not even like like mistakes. I remember when I was a kid, there was like movie mistakes and like you just saw like, oh, this thing was up in this scene, now it's down or just weird things. But he just talks about like various plot holes or just like bad acting or like dumb lines and all sorts of stuff, right? So it's pretty interesting. And he, he pointed out like uh, the one behind me on the screen, like Tristan and I were watching The Happening and I think he pointed out like 167 cinema sins in it. Right? But anyways, as I'm watching it, I'm like, man, this dude's negative bias is just like, dang. So what is negative bias? Negative bias is our ability to detect, you know, something's wrong, right? So basically, the way we evolved, we needed negative bias. This is why you're more likely to notice the bad things rather than the good things. So this can hurt us when we're like reading through our comments and all that kind of stuff, because someone like me, a YouTuber, I can focus on all the bad comments rather than the new ones. Well, based on our evolution, we need to do that because it helped us survive, right? So if something was off, if something didn't look right, or maybe like we heard a, a rustling in a bush and then a lion jumped out or something, like we needed to be able to connect like, okay, that bad thing or this, this trigger means that something else is gonna happen, right? Or this noise or whatever it is, sound, smell, whatever, right? It helped us survive. The problem is, is that this can lead to anxiety and depression because some of us still have a very strong negative bias. But I did want to talk about like, there's definitely some positives to having a negative bias. So many people who have a, a strong negative bias, they're more prone to anxiety, all right? Because we're always noticing all the problems. But as you can see with somebody like CinemaSense, he has turned it into a career. And I was just fascinated, right? Like I'm sitting here watching, and he's noticing so many different things that I probably wouldn't even have caught on while I was watching the movie, right? And like, I just imagine, I was like, could you imagine just sitting with this guy and watching one of these movies and seeing all the, all the mistakes he's pointing out? Because I, I make a lot of videos. A lot of you know I make a lot of videos and some of it is just because I've trained myself. A lot of it comes from public speaking and running groups and things like that. So I just kind of go off the top of my head and it's because I've had so much practice. So with him, based on you know what he's doing for his content he has trained his mind to spot all of these different mistakes which is actually a very good thing so the other day or actually i think um when was it whenever i talked about kanye west i pointed out that book the power of different i highly recommend you check it out i'll link it down in the description again but it talks about the benefits of different mental illness so again, people with anxiety have a negative bias, but this is good. So people with a, a strong negative bias, they're also more likely to live longer. They're more likely to do a good job. Like you gotta think about it. Somebody who's uh, able to spot mistakes, they're often better when uh, working on projects, you know, because they double check everything, triple check everything. You know what I mean? So they're very meticulous about these things and they can find these errors. People with a negative bias are also natural problem solvers as well, right? Because like, this is something that I have a bit of. Like something I've always prided myself in is noticing the problem, but focusing on the solution. Like 
it's, it's not something that I was always with my mental health, but even growing up like in school and like, you know, with my anxiety and things like that, like when I saw problems, like I just became this like fixer, right? Like I was like, okay, here's a problem, what's the solution? And after I got my mental health under control, it's been a great benefit to me because like when I work, like when I was working at the rehab center or I used to work at a content management company, right? And I, I like, finding things and just getting to like figure out how to fix them and solve them because my brain just spots all of these issues. And maybe that's one of the reasons why when I'm watching other YouTubers and I'm pointing out different things that they're doing that maybe you could benefit from, you know, it's because I'm spotting those things. But something else is, is that we need to turn that into some introspection, right? We need to become more self-aware of our own problems, of what we're doing. We need to spot our own faults so we can start working on those as well. Now. Here's another fun fact that I learned from that book. People with a strong negative bias, their best match is somebody who has symptoms of ADHD, right? So people with uh, ADHD, they get really passionate about something. They get really in there and they'll just start go, 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 go. But what they were talking about, they actually did studies where they paired somebody with anxiety or more of a negative bias and they work very well together because the person um, with the negative bias, they can like sit there and point out all the mistakes. They can say, hey, let's slow down. I think there was actually a story in there about business partners, right? Like one of them was like, you know, the creative one and they were all over, you know, like just making things and making things and making things. But the other person was in there to kind of like manage it and structure it better. So there's some great teamwork that can be in there, right? But then we also need to talk about the cons, okay? So one of the issues is something like I mentioned with social media, okay? But it can even be just in your different social situations. Like how many of you, and feel free to leave a comment down below, are you more likely to notice, you know, the bad things that people say about you rather than the good things? This is something that a lot of people with imposter syndrome struggle with. You notice all of your faults. You notice all the people who are critiquing you rather than all the people thanking you. And this is something that I actually have to work on regularly, right? So some of you who are following my channel and you know what's been going on with me the last week, I'm getting flooded with comments, my channel's getting bigger and you know, and stuff like that. And I'm having to really identify and work and like, really intentionally find the good comments and really focus on them and notice how it makes me feel, right? By the way, that's a mindfulness practice. Dang, you didn't know you were gonna roll up in this video and get a little mindfulness practice, right? So if you struggle with this, intentionally focus on the positive, right? And notice how it feels in your body because what it's doing is, it's actually like, it's kind of like logging data in your nervous system. It's reminding your body and your brain that this feels good. It feels good to notice the positive. So I look for your guys' comments where you talk about how, you know, maybe something um, I said in a video inspired you to go get therapy, or maybe my videos are helping you just focus on your mental health on a daily basis. I also just posted this picture of a comment up on Instagram, and this is one of my favorite things on earth. By the way, like that you guys are learning about the prefrontal cortex and its responsibilities. Oh, oh, that just warms my heart, right? But I actually talked about negative bias in uh, my video about the YouTube Rewind. So people who are prone to spot all the mistakes or complain, they train their brain to do that more often, which can actually affect us in social situations, right? Like, does anybody really wanna hang out with somebody who's pointing out all of the mistakes or complaining about everything? So not necessarily cinema, uh, cinema sins, because I don't know the guy, right? But I would ask you to look at this with yourself. Like, even though you're really good at spotting mistakes, do you sometimes go overboard? Are you constantly spotting mistakes? Like, could you imagine going out to dinner with a friend, right? And you know, you're just there to have a good time and then you're sitting there like, oh, look at this on this menu. Oh, they shouldn't have done this with this recipe. Oh, oh, look at that, the draperies over there. And oh, this glass and you know what I mean? Like this can be an issue and people are like, oh my God, just shut up and just enjoy the meal, you know? So it's important that we find that balance because a lot of this stuff with our mental health, like I made a video a while back, like people with depression, they're more um, empathetic, they're kinder, they're gentler, because they know that pain, they know that feeling, so they naturally wanna help more people out. And a ton of it I learned from this book that I keep mentioning. By the way, what if you guys ask me like, oh, I don't know if they're sponsored or anything. Like, full disclosure, no. I wish 
I wish that some of these places sponsored me, some of these authors or publishers sponsored me. I would love if Audible sponsored me because Audible is my jam. But no, I will let you know this, like down in the description, when you click those links, those are Amazon affiliate links. So it's great if you click on those links and get the book because what it does is you get the book for the exact same cost and I get a little bit in return. It helps support the channel by using my uh, links whenever I link your books. So just keep that in mind, all right? But I know a lot of you, um, in all honesty, you asked me about book recommendations, so I'm just trying to plug them here and there and just let you know where I'm learning what and where I'm citing some of my information and knowledge from, all right? But anyways, let me know down in the comments below, like, how, how is your negative bias? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Are you good at spotting things and problem solving? Is it becoming an issue in your life? Like, let me know down in the comments so I can make some more content for all of you beautiful people out there. All right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron and get some exclusive videos and perks and get into the Q&A and all that, click or tap right there. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.